Welcome to Open Your Reality, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chad, and I'm here with the beautiful Rose Lambert from Rose Lambert TV. If you guys remember, I did a couple of videos with Rose, and in this video, we're doing a little bit more serious subject. We're talking about taking your own life. A very serious subject, and uh, Rose has some things to say about it. I made a video on it back in 2020 and 2021, but those videos often get buried in the algorithm, so I thought it best to create another video for 2022. Rose, uh, taking your life, suicide, these type of things, this is a high entropy decision, something that really nobody should contemplate unless they are in a very, very dire position physically. Um, there are implications, right? I mean, when you take your life, it's not like your problems just go away. I mean, they do in the sense that, you know, you don't have debt anymore. Right. You may not have the same relationship problems when you go into the spirit world, but you still carry with you you know, the, the trauma and the pain from what you brought out of that past life. Uh, Chad, uh, thanks for having me in your program again. Sure. Uh, yes, it doesn't end there because also with my awakening, and uh, I find out uh, I basically took my own life and uh, my past life and in a kind of way not like, you know, like by take, not taking care of them and doing you know, OD basically on a drug OD, like my past life. But when you get come out of your body, there's other problems. It's like that because this this problems ends here when you come out, and then you come to a different dimension. And because then you find out this was all game. This was just the school. This was the kindergarten. And you're supposed to play and have fun and enjoy life. And then you just like ended when you become through this problem solving. Because source, God gives us some problems as to solve and make it uh, more interesting. And you go through and then each challenge teaches us things to enjoy the new things in our life much better and then you're like I just give up and then and then you see if you didn't give up what your life could be you know I uh, basically source took me up and I seen what happens and then I kind of regret you know taking my life in my other lifetime yeah I think people don't realize that there is something beyond your current problems no matter what it is, whether it's financial, whether it's relationship, whether it's health. Like Rose said, you know, life is all a test. Yes. And when you take your life, you're actually cutting that short and you're failing right there on the spot. And we get to reincarnate. Yes. We have to come back. We have to do it again. We have to face our karma. And it's like Tom Campbell says, it's not like you come back where you left off. You come back in even a worse place. And once you take your life once, it becomes easier to do it the second time and the third time. And it's not looked favorably in the spirit world. No. Your spirit guides, council of elders, they don't look kindly upon that. Now, it's not like there's punishment. Some people think if they take their life, maybe they will go to hell. It doesn't work like that. Uh, the way it works is that you will have to come back and you will have to face challenges again, such as what happened with the, you. My life was uh, uh, so much more harder this time. And uh, I had the same kind of challenges and I had to overcome. And I faced so many times, not just once, so many times, people would just take their life they taking their life with the reasons like that but this time I was resilient this time I said I'm not gonna give up because in the beginning uh, my grandmother taught me it's like that God created you you've been created and given gift and this is basically taking your life saying it's like I don't like your gift and she told me there is like there's a waiting list to come have this chance to be alive here and you gotta fight and we you know, I, if somebody didn't love me, didn't care about me, and I knew God loved me enough to give me this life. And uh, because usually people take their life and I just, you got to look at it, why that is happening. There's a, either a love issue or uh, money issues, like, you know, people lose what they have and they feel they're embarrassed, shame to start all over again. And, you know, all those things happened to me in this life. I had a love issue, a uh, problem 
felt like, you know, my husband didn't love me when I was married and losing everything you have. And this time I said, you know what, I hit the rock bottom. I can't get any worse than this. I could only go up and I didn't care what other people thought about me. It's like I cared, you know, I, I believed God loved me and I kept going. That and we cannot be heroes like we can't like because after you take your life why you care after what happens and then also a lot of people think they're going to make a point you can't make point your point is going to be after you die it's like oh this person was had a mental issues was mentally ill didn't get help and that's what they talk behind a person who takes their life and a lot of people think it's like oh okay I'll show it to them I'll take my life and I'm punishing them no people get over that and normal healthy people heal from that loss and then they will think you know you were not healthy you had a mental issue yeah I, th I think what I was trying to say here is that that um, sometimes people kill themselves as a way to punish those people who believe harm them. Like, I'll show them, I'll take my life, and then they'll feel guilty for the rest of theirs. Right. And, and that's really the wrong way to go about it. You know, and if, and if you are feeling suicidal, please, you know, get some help, get professional help. I urge you not to do it because the people that took their lives in Journey of Souls and Destiny of Souls... There were some cases where people did commit suicide. And Dr. Michael Newton said that when those people did that, they immediately, immediately regretted their decision. When they saw their consciousness just continued on. All right. It just continued on. And then they realized, oh, there were other options. I didn't have to do that. And I think, you know, especially young people. Young people are very prone to taking their life when things go wrong. Like a relationship, you know, they, they don't have the life experience to understand that things can get better. Um, Dr. Newton talked about this in Journey of Souls. He says that there are three different types of souls that take their lives. You have a beginner soul, somebody who only has maybe one or two life experience packets, so to speak, as Tom Campbell says. And they're not very experienced here. And then they just end it shortly. And then you have people that are like you, wanderers or star seeds, people that come from other worlds. And this is maybe your first or second time on Earth. And it's, you have a very difficult time acclimating to this world. It's dense. It's very difficult compared to the world you came from and you don't want to be here any longer. I made a video talking about this. There was a Japanese man named Kano and it was his second lifetime. And he, I think he was feeling suicidal. He, he had a lot of trouble acclimating here. That was a good story. And then there's the other type of people where they're just like level three souls and um, they're just feeling like they're in the wrong body. They're feeling like either they're a man, they should have been a woman, vice versa. Maybe they should have been an animal or they just are in a body that they didn't want. And so people like that can also be suicidal. Yeah. And my other life where uh, now it's like that person is actually was a Hollywood movie star. And I'm not going to mention the name because I want to continue like when I'm doing my YouTube, it's like the attention on, you know, what I'm trying to do, not the attention on, oh, this person was this person in the past. So I would never mention it. But this was a movie star and, uh, you know, she wasn't happy with, anything because she was an overachiever and she got very famous at early age and that happened so many times in uh, Hollywood and still happening and these people die young and I was one of those people and wasn't grateful we have to learn to be grateful and you know because my second life was this life was so much more harder and if I knew I would have never done it you know, it's in the first time that, that the life before this, I would have never done it. You know, it's like I would have taken care of myself. I would have not drank. Yeah. So I think it's important to understand that there, if you're feeling like taking your life, there are options. Speak to help. Get professional help. Second off, realize that there are implications. You'll have to address that karma again. It'll be worse. It'll be easier to take your life in the future. You'll face the wrath, <laughs> I say the wrath, of the Council of Elders. Um, there was one patient in Journey of Souls who said that he, was, he had taken his life about three times. And he was thinking about doing it again because, like I said, it gets easier. And he stopped himself from doing it because he said, every time I appear before the Council, 
they give me like this feeling of guilt. Like we're giving you perfectly good bodies and you keep taking your life and you end up here again. And he said he didn't take his life because he just didn't want to go in front of the council again. Yeah. <clears throat> and guys, if you want to watch a good video on the Council of Elders, if you have no idea what it is, you can check out this video over here. It'll explain it. But basically, this is a panel of very distinguished and high level spiritual beings in the spirit world that does a life review with us and also talks to us before we come into a life here. They help plan it out. So, Rose, any final thoughts? Don't take your life up. It's not worth it. And because this is, you're going to come back to redo it, and then the next time it's harder because they want to make sure, because we are infinite beings. It's, there's no end. Just getting out of your life doesn't mean your problems end. And now when you get out of this body, there is other levels of other knowing. More you know, there's more problems comes up to, and that's for a different video. But you just end up, simple thing. This is a kindergarten, nursery school here. When you come out of your body, you're going to, when you see it, you're going to be like, oh my God, what did I do? And I want to just go back. Because sometimes, you know, it's like I'm able to rise my conscious and I do samadhi, like not, you know, going through samadhi meditations. And it, this is the perfect place to be. You don't want to go anywhere else. This is the easiest, easiest what we have is here. If you think this is hard, yeah, wait, wait till you experience some other realities. Right. <laughs> you know, I was feeling a little bit low, um, you know, a little bit before I met you. Views were slipping, and um, some people were admonishing me. I used to say they were, uh, you know, some people weren't happy about the whole Patreon thing. And um, <clears throat> I wasn't going to say I was thinking about ending it all, but, you know, since I've met you, I've had a, a new, renewed vigor for life. I'm glad. And uh, we've got some plans together for the future as well. Maybe we'll reveal that someday. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. We wish you much love, peace, and happiness. Remember, if you're feeling like suicidal, get help. Definitely. Wishing you health, wealth, love. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.